last time on Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. B button allows him to punch. If you hit A button in the air while he's jumping, you can go ahead and glide. You run into a wall, you can climb the wall. Alright, sometimes they can be an enemy, sometimes they can be in crates, sometimes they're just out in the open like that one is. Meet Miles Tails, otherwise known as Tails. Meet Cream Soda. Dr. Egg B button to fire your, uh, bolt. Giant eyeball with two pupils. Shoot anything and everything that's in your way. This has a health bar on the bottom of this game. Of this, um, this. It's like, we Food chow. Eat your food. See? One giant eye and two pupils. And something in there. There's a brick in the wall. We don't need no light shoes. And grab the thing. And now for the continuation. Alright, so hello everybody, I'm Sabrina Dude the Fourth. And this is Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh we managed to go ahead and get our chow fed here from the last episode of Metal Harbor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give him his food. Make sure he eats a fruit. Meanwhile, I'll grab his next fruit. Uh, so yeah, last time we managed to go ahead and take care of business over at Metal Harbor. Amy rescued us, and Sonic, well, remember when I was discussing yet last episode that Sonic had, like, two pupils and one giant eyeball? If you, you can see it just barely here, but the skin from his, you know, like, where it's supposed to separate his eyes doesn't connect. So it's like, two, um... It's like, uh, two pupils on, like, one giant eyeball, because the well, skin doesn't fully really connect. So, go over here, buddy. Yeah, make sure you get up. You wanted it. Why did Why didn't you take it? Why didn't you take it? Take the thing. I want you to get a stamina level. So, yeah. Uh, we managed to also do a Tails level. If you go in there, that's where Chow Karate and Chow Racing is. Uh, we might be able to complete some beginner, uh, races. So far, our child doesn't know how to swim yet. So he'll just go around, flopping around like that. But eventually, he'll go around and, you know, be comfortable with swimming. So, let's go ahead and head on out and continue on with the story. Cream soda. Mm. Ooh, so far, so good. Hey, that's that blue hedgehog that again of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Good enough He's to had a lot more games work. than you have, Shadow. There's you know. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic and Tails, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Adventure Genesis Collection, Sonic Adventure 1. Uh, when he stops, this is the time to go ahead and attack. Uh, gotta survive, gotta survive, gotta survive, gotta survive, gotta survive, okay. That was close. I wasn't even meaning to, like, speedrun that. It was either attack constantly to stay on stage, or I'm gonna fall in the water and die. None of which I want to do. So welcome to the green forest. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and watch some story here for a minute. Shadow, what are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on Whoa, it. Whoa, holy crap. Blows up? Uh, we're in trouble now. We gotta get going. Alright, so now we are on a timed mission. Eight minutes to escape the island and reach the end of the stage. Um, you should be able to make this quite easily. It's not that hard to do. Um, it's fairly short. You just gotta make sure, you know, not to jump up. Uh, not to, you know, do anything stupid. And you're okay. And just jump up here. Fast-paced Sonic missions. I love these fast-paced Sonic missions. I've already mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again. These fast-paced Sonic missions are just a heck of a lot of fun. Bouncing around, bend around, ooh, stop. Nice spy record. Okay, now let's go. Ah. Uh. 
Capture card? Capture card. Hello? Capture card. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, my capture card decided to screw up on me. I don't know why, but luckily we have it back. So I apologize about that, and that's probably going to be a giant pain in the button editor. But that's okay. As long as we didn't lose the video, I'm good. And I managed to pause, apparently, while during the middle of it. Oh, well, that would have been a nice little shortcut to do. Or a little bit of a shortcut, I guess. There's a bunny rabbit over here. Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, speed. Yeah, the whole ring dash thing doesn't really work if they're too far apart. You can ring dash into one ring, but, you know, eh, it's not worth it. I don't think I got a challenge. No, I haven't gotten a challenge this one. I might not get one either because I'm skipping them all. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. Oh, there we go. There's one. No! Game! Alright, here we go. So all we gotta do is just bounce up. These things again. Up for glitches, I guess. There we go. So now that we got the shell box, we're gonna go ahead and get the chance to beat our shell again. Once again, a Sonic. Uh, yeah, so we got two Sonic stages in a row, which sometimes that happens. You know, Sonic's the main character, so it's kind of to be expected. But, there you go. We got the, uh, ring, uh, sh uh, magnetic shield, which absorbs rings. Yeah, we get to go bungee jumping, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill all these guys, or not. That works too. Uh, get more... more stuff. By the way, whenever you ch cross a checkpoint with a certain amount of rings, you get bonuses. Like, either more rings, or you get, uh, magnetic shields, like this one. Sometimes you'll get, like, a high-speed boost or a vulnerability, depending on how many rings you have. So that's always a good thing to know. And there you go. Level completed. Decent amount of time, although I did stop for some animals and things, so I probably didn't get that too good of a score. Just made it. Eh. Eh. I did okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted by the freecreditscore.com commercial, which... It's not really... No, I, I'm not a fan of Free Credit Score, mainly because of the fact that it's not free. You know, you'd think with a thing called Free Credit Score, it's free. Well, it's not. And that's like, false advertising. And that's rather annoying. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and feed my channel and be right back. Alright, so now that we've fed the guy, uh, some of his stats have increased. Let's see if he'll wear this. Nope, still has no idea what to do with it. That's okay. Um, so yeah, our Chow has gotten a little bit stronger in flying. Flying seems to be his best attribute, so that's good, I guess. Um, there are a lot of things that you have, that if you have flying, you can have great advantage over in races. Um, power is kind of getting up there, so is running. So those are things that we need to work on. But stamina, of course, I've gotten up to level 3. So let's go ahead and leave the area. So I... And I made motions with my fingers that you can't see it. And the island blows up. Yeah, we had eight minutes to leave the island, but yet we spent enough time and... Capture card. Capture card. Not again. No. Oh. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. Alright, so basically, grab this, and this allows you to do. Uh, anytime you can go into the ground, you can dig, 
quite an extra mana right there, as you can it out. Uh, this place is a wide expanse to explore. So, if you want, I would recommend. Or, you know, just be lucky and finding it here. That's cool, too. Where is it? Is it right in front of the second? Uh, is it in here? By oh, yep, yeah, here it is. Oh, oh. Grab the thing. Oh, thank you. Alright, well, that was incredibly lucky and easy. Alright, so, let's find... Well, the next... Oh, let's grab this. Little bone thing. Under a chimney. Well, that doesn't help much. Let's go ahead and fly around. I love gliding. Knuckles, Knuckles is gliding. It's amazing. Um... Whoa. And we go to the highest point in the game. Or in this uh, area. Oh, I see under a chimney. Very clever. Awesome, it's like in the wall under the chimney. There we go. Extreme! Extreme! Yes. Alright, now let's go ahead and find another clue somewhere so that way we can actually know where we're going. When you do something bad, this might happen. Well, that doesn't help anything. Oh, I got a hell or something? What? Can I go back to the church, maybe? Bad things happen, I might die. I'm in the area. Uh, well, kind of in the area, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do there. Ah. Obviously, we're going on down. We're in this area somewhere. It's closer. If bad things happen, I might die. We need to do something bad. I, I don't get it. Is that like the lowest point in the game? Is that like a reference to hell or something? Maybe so. But anyway, that was incredibly fast. Or faster than yeah, I thought it would be. Yeah, this is perfect. A rank. All right, a rank. Nice. Screensaver, go away. Sweet. So now that we got our A rank. Yeah. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Doctor Eggman, the world's greatest scientist and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Greatest empire of all time! <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not. I don't know if I'm allowed to have subtitles on this or not. Or if I can put subtitles on this. But hey! The moon blew up! And it's actually a Death Star. Yeah. Who knew? Seriously, it's like a freaking Death Star. It's like half of a Death Star. It charges up, it fires a laser at a, at a planet, and it blows it up. Except in this case, this actually blows up the moon. Or at least half of it. Wouldn't that screw up tides? Like seriously, like if like one third of the moon was just blown up to bits. That would like screw up tides so bad. And possibly a lot of other things that we don't know about that the moon might be connected to. We know the moon's connected what? to the tides, but there are other things the that might be connected gone? to that we don't know for sure. Eggman! Oh, that creep never gives up! I'd say one third. But how did he manage to harness all that energy? It's got to be the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking oh. for him. Tails? The Chaos Emeralds are like that! 
to attract each other. Hey, yes. I can use that to fight the enemy. Now stick your hands up. And wave them like you just don't care. Say, hey, 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 uh, uh. No, just kidding. Amy, you're not even a playable character, or at least not in single player. I should, I should let you know this too. Is that this game has a two player. Although I don't. A two player. Hello, welcome to Mission Street. Uh, do I have time for this? Uh, you know why. Why not? I'm in again. Let's go ahead and make this. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of length. The worst comes to worst, I'll just make it into two parts. Now, um, in order to get past um, all the old crap that's here, you have to use your Vulcan cannon to destroy obstacles in your path. Police cars, barricades, things like that. Is this... Oh yeah, let's go ahead and... I have a million dollar bounty on my head. Sweet. Oh, I can't make it past there. Well, I fell, so I guess that's it. Now, what you want to do, don't attempt to jump over that. You are not going to make it. Instead, look behind you, and you can find a power-up. Yeah, real jerk move with the game to do that, because especially whenever the camera doesn't go off. Basically, this is hovering. Hold the A button while you're in the air in order to hover. This makes things a lot easier. This is the power-up that I was talking about. That makes things so much easier as I... Like... You can just go ahead and take care of business wherever you're at, because hovering makes things so much easier. You can go past, in past stages, you get more power-ups, which I always recommend. Yeah, blowing crap up. Uh, yeah, hovering just makes things easier to get around, and that's why whenever I jump in the air, I was trying to hover, but I couldn't because, well, I don't have hover yet. And I honestly think they should have that at the very beginning of the game, but that's okay. Well, that's why you're trying to be cool and float down the mountain. I'm float down. Yeah, is it bad whenever my basic bullet takes down a police car. Is that bad? And I launched a missile in order to get past. That's the only way to destroy those blocks, is using that missile. Blow crap up! That's what we Oh, I missed the other one. to blow things up. Blowing things up is fun. Uh, just make sure to blow things up so that we can go ahead and access different things.
sometimes uh, the game doesn't like to work with me today. Why? I don't know. But alright. Blow crap up. Blow more crap up. And that thing's just gonna be randomly going in different directions. And you know, that's kind of annoying sometimes. What kind of police force has all these fancy weapons and robots? Oh, get out of there. That thing's gonna fall on you. No. Get out of there. Blow up the cars. Life has fun. I did it! Grab the goal and we're on our way. Alright, so that's it for today's episode. I've been some Adam Dude Fourth, and this is Let's Play some Sonic Adventure 2. Very good. This is me saying see you later, got a B rank, and God bless you all. So long, everybody.